Welcome to my channel. We're going to learn how to render GIFs, GIFs, GIFs in Clo3D in less than two minutes. Let's get started. Once your project's open, you're going to go to the file menu, render, and then render. This window will pop up and you just have to click here to start the interactive render. You can also click this button up in the corner. In this project file, I've already edited the camera, the lighting, and the render settings. If you'd like to learn how to do that, check out the video on rendering in the link in my description. For now, let's go to this icon right here, Image Video Properties. Click that, and then in the Property Editor, the options we want to change are Image slash Video, we want to click on that and say Turntable Images. Then Colorway, we're going to leave on Current. Image Count, we're going to change to 32. If you want a smoother GIF, then increase that number. If you want a choppier <laughs> GIF that renders faster, then lower that number. Rotation angle will leave on 360. That just means that we're going to get a 360 view of whatever we are currently seeing. Rotation axis right now is on auto, which means that it's going to rotate like in the center of the mass, which because my dude's arm is sticking out, it's going to be around here. That's going to be an awkward animation. So let's go ahead and choose center, which will then rotate around the center axis. We'll leave direction set to counterclockwise. We're gonna leave save video off, but if you want it to also save either an MP4 or AVI video format, you can check that. But for now, I'm just gonna check save GIF, total duration. Let's set that to five seconds. And then frame duration is automatically set at 0.16. All the other options down here, I have already adjusted for this project file. So we can go ahead and stop the interactive render and then click play to render. All right, well, that took my computer 23 minutes to render. Now we can go ahead and open up the folder, and there we go. The written guide and project file for this tutorial are available on my Patreon. Thank you for your support.